It's the Deadhead Man here, and yes, I'm playing on Battlefield 4 on the PS4 using my support class. And uh, it's it's a team deathmatch. Did I say domination? No. Maybe a team deathmatch I'm playing. I wanted to highlight a team deathmatch match for you guys. Uh, just because I'm always an objective game player, and I just wanted to uh, show you why I don't play this, this type of game mode. It's a little on the slower end. It's, a, once again, a longer video. I'm searching constantly for people it seems like in a sense you know it's like I just I don't have a place to go I'm looking for the a flag it's not there the B flags missing in action so and then then I'm always looking up at the the buildings you know making sure no one's up top but see I'm doing a little dance here just making sure everything's cool and I'm, I'm working this side of the map for a little bit um, but as I said I don't want to have to look up all the time I mean you know it's it's just it's a tough thing that you're constantly looking on the ground from all angles and you got to deal with like looking up at the sky and stuff so it, it will let me jump into where i could piggyback off this subject a little bit when it comes to you know the type of game modes and stuff now it seems to me i'm a domination player i've been expanding my uh, horizons if you must into conquest capture the flag etc now capture the, the con let's go with conquest first conquest you know it's a great game mode the whole the whole concept of conquest is really really just like full scale you know battlefield you know that that's how they define it and um with the with the vehicles and the, the tactics and the objective all the above you know it's it's fabulous but here's here's my gripe right now you got all these squads and you got all these flags and conquest now everyone's doing their own thing which makes battlefield for you know really cool you get to do whatever you want right but it seems sometimes there's no organization now maybe I'm wrong but maybe the organization is not defined to me I don't know because like I find myself talking to absolutely nobody. Now, if everyone's playing in groups and they have friends, then God bless them, okay? Because I don't have that. I, I'm by myself when I'm doing this. Maybe I have one dude, you know, who's willing to play with me. But then when we're playing together, we're in a, we're in a party together. So it's like, where? how do we communicate with the other rest of the team and still get, you know, everything accomplished? Now, I find that... And it's, it's only my opinion that maybe, maybe, you know, we could, okay, squad A, error support, squad B, you know, ground support, you know, C, recon support, you know, D, engineering and helping, you know, like have a role, set role, so you know, I got fucking screwed there, um, so have a role and set role and, and for each squad, I don't know, I mean, Maybe I'm not playing with enough people, but no one's communicating, man, and it sucks. It really frustrates me, okay, as, as, a, as a person that, you know, okay, yeah, the run and gun and the have fun and do solos and play with one person is, is great and all, you know, right? But, like, you know, it's there's so much more to this game that this can be captured, you know, and we, I can't capture it because I can't communicate with anyone. And I, maybe it's my settings. I don't know. I got to figure something out, guys. It's it's a it's definitely going to take this hopefully to a new horizon. Um. Well, that being said, you know, another great aspect of this game is just just the weapons, the selection. Now, I'm running the support class with this. Uh, I, I think it's ATU. I'm not really sure what I'm running, the gun I'm running. I'm sorry right now. I, I don't really know. And you can check it out in the description. The description's there. You see what I'm, I'm doing. But, like, it's a submachine gun with a support class where normally support was like this. It starts with an LMG. And I'm like, all right, cool. You know, it's a carbine rifle. So I think it's a support class. I call carbine rifles. I think it's a habit now that I do that. But I, I threw a silencer on it, and it's just... It's cool, you know, I'm, I'm throwing those ammo packs out, 
Now I could also throw this class on a on an assault class where I have my med med packs and stuff and hook the, hook everyone up. But I kind of like this class. I don't know why. I wish it had more of um, you know, a RPG type or grenade launcher, which once again will bring me <clears throat> to a point I'd like to make about that. Uh, what's this game catering to? Like it's catering to the. F the full battlefield experience, which would be probably team, I mean, <laughs> which would probably be conquest or or those huge map conquests, whatever they call it, um, because the engineer class, for instance, okay, you know, one of its gadgets is like a blowtorch to fix vehicles, and one of its things is is like you know the RPGs that I was talking about, the Stinger missiles that you can that you can get, um, and the the rest of the rocket launchers that lock on to air support slash land support. Um, they also, you know, th that's that's their role. Okay, that's the engineer's role. Okay, so when you're playing team deathmatch, in this case, and domination in my normal cases, how are you? Uh, the engineer class. Okay, you have an RPG. Great, you can shoot things. You have, you know, your submachine gun, you know, fine, you could do that with that, um, you know, but there's no other, there's nothing else you could do to help the team out, alright, assault, at least they, they're throwing med kits out, you know, uh, even support, for instance, you know, guys, even support, for instance, they're throwing the ammo kits, which aren't even needed in Team Deathmatch or Domination so much. People don't even know they're getting ammo half the time. They'll know when they're getting help, but they won't know when they're getting ammo. See me looking at the ceiling, Jesus, trying to find snipers. Um, so, so the game caters to that because, you know, if you just want to run a gun with a, you know, an engineer, that's fine, but you're not really going to get the full aspect of the character or the creation class or or anything that way because you're not really being able to use all the things that the character has to offer. Copy that. Okay, next comes with the support class. The support class. Take, get the hell off the ladder, bro. The support class. Ammo packs. You could do, I'm using it now. The carbine, submachine gun, rifle, thingy, kebabi. Okay, there's my ammo packs hooking myself up because I'm a greedy fuck, even though I always pull, throw them out, you'll see it. You know, but the support class has the air burst rifle that I actually I used in a conquest game and it took out a tank for me or took out something like that, like a tank herb person. But it did good. It also has um, the, the tank landmines. C4, no, C4 is on, re on the recon with this, the sniper, but... You got my point, you know, the support has its role for more of conquest. See, the assault rifle guy, he's got an assault rifle, he's got his med packs, he's got a defibrillator, he's got all the stuff that he needs that actually come in handy in the domination or team deathmatch, but when it comes to, you know, conquest, you probably see more people running, you know, I don't know, recon, sniper rifle type support class with the LMGs, that's what I've noticed, uh, just me, you know, but either way, uh, I just wanted to touch base on that. Now, when it comes to, like, capture the flag, I played it, guys, I played a round of capture the flag, maybe two, and... It's cool. The maps are, you know, it seems a little big for it. And once again, lack of communication. Uh, and I don't dig that, you know. I really don't. Epic fail coming up. Watch. I take... What? I thought I took him out, so I take his buddy out. He doesn't go out, so I, I shorty him. And there's a third. I try to get out of there, but not, nothing happened. But dude, the first guy should have died. You all know that. I know that. Everyone knows that. So, and I wanted to mention that real off the up the off the subject that this is my Sunday. Unfortunately, I'm going back to work this week is daylight sa this weekend is daylight savings time. So tomorrow night after work at one o'clock or, or two o'clock, it will jump to three o'clock, which gives me less hour of sleep, which that sucks. I don't know about you guys, but the deadhead man likes some sleep. Sleeping is good. Beastie Boys sing a mean song about 
it's unconstitutional to <laughs> to wake up early. <laughs> I'm having a Heineken light tonight. <clears throat> Normally, I haven't been drinking beer. I've been drinking the vodka thing because I've been on that somewhat of a healthy kick. The kale salads, the juice, the whole nine yards, guys. I've been doing great with it. Totally fine. But I was in the fresh market, a place where I buy all my healthy stuff. It's like a Whole Foods market, if you're not familiar. In New York. East Chester, that is. And, um... And so I, uh, I was walking through the beer, beer aisle. It's not even an aisle. It's like a fucking golden palace of the beer Himalayas. Like, where you could, like, pick and choose one beer at a time and, and stick them in a six-pack and make your own six-pack up of any kind of beer. It's just really neat. So I was just like, I didn't want to get to too overwhelmed because I really didn't want beer. But I decided to, uh, watch how I play this turn. Get down, son. Oh, he kills me too? Oh, no, the other guy did. So... I ended up just taking a six pack of Heineken light and I, I wanted to have that and I had a fire going today and or tonight when I got home because I had to bring my wife to a store tonight um which guys I wanted to mention I'm not even going to mention names excuse me I'm not going to disclose where the store is it's a great little store I'm not going to tell you what kind of store it is but uh the guy who owns the store told me, I was talking to him real quick while my wife was uh, shooting the breeze with, with the, his wife, who's, who's her friend, whatever. He was the original, one of the original devs on Grand Theft Auto, the first one. Like, he's on, his name's on the box, um, he, he, he writes code, he's just a beast, bro, and I thought that was really neat, um, neat to meet a guy like that now he told me some stories and he told me how the insides work and stuff a little bit we didn't get into it because his wife and my wife kept on interrupting us and that's just goddamn rude we wanted to talk business and all we wanted to talk was video games i'm a 40 year old junkie when it comes to video games i guess not all games but either way and it also screwed me tonight because i ended up talking to the guy for so long that i ended up not going to gamestop to pick up my Xbox 360 controller so I could play Titanfall when it launches on the 11th because that's what I plan on doing um, even though that you know my work doesn't know I'm going to be sick on that day yet so <laughs> I'll be sick um, but this is uh, the gameplay it's a team deathmatch you won't be seeing these too often guys um, promise that it's mainly going to be the the domination moving into the conquest etc etc but there's my support kit I did a right my carbine rifle shotgun kill you know I did alright cut a couple of flags tags ribbons whatever but there's my score went 18 and 10 um, guys thanks so much for watching if you made it this far I appreciate it if you did follow me on Twitter 420deadheadman.com Mr. Deadheadman that is and leave a like rating if you do like it talk to you later peace and love see ya